Yo, what's up Team Civgets Patrick, and welcome to today's vlog. If you guys don't already know, I'm doing two separate 50 mil giveaways on two separate videos, so that's 100 mil I'm giving away in total. Both of those giveaways end tonight, December 30th, 2015 at 11.59pm Eastern Standard Time. I will link the videos in the description below, and I'll tell you how to enter the giveaways in the beginning of each video. And then tomorrow, I'll be releasing a video announcing the winners, also how I... I'm going to be showing how I select the winners randomly. Anyways, so in the background is a clip of me training Slayer once again, since I need 80 Slayer, and I'm killing Water Fiends, which is very good because they give good Slayer XP, good combat XP, and they drop a ton of charms. In fact, they easily have one of the best charm drop rates in the game, which is why, in my opinion, it feels like such a waste of time uh, to do this without triple charms activated. So if you guys don't know, there's a D&D named Familiarization, which you can only do once a week. And as a reward, you have a choice between summoning ingredients or triple charms, or triple the charms you get for 40 minutes. This actually isn't something I do regularly because I don't need summoning XP for the time being, but like I said, it feels like such a waste of time to kill these without familiarization. Especially the Slayer task, because you only get 40 minutes, right? So ideally, you want to kill them as fast as possible to maximize the amount of charms you get. And it helps a lot when you can wear a Slayer Helm to get those faster kills. Unfortunately, my task did not last the entire 40 minutes, but I wasn't going to let Triple Charms go to waste either. So I kept killing even after my task is over, and I switched from a Slayer Helm to my Verse Mask. I didn't bank the charms I already had on me, so I started off with 10 Crimsons, 1 Blue, 18 Golds, and 48 Greens. By the time I was done 40 minutes later... Here's a screenshot from after I was done. I had 586 Crimsons, 13 Blues, 129 Golds, and 19 Greens. So if you minus the ones I already had, I gained 576 Crimsons, 12 Blues, 111 Gold, and 42 Greens. I did all that in 40 minutes, and look at that. I just got a Slayer. I just got the a Slayer I wanted. So there's one day of the Festive Oil left. I am still going to train Slayer with it. The thing is, I actually want to train Magic, but I don't like training my combat stats while it's Slayer. I officially have all the skill requirements for every quest, but I want 90 Magic, because if you don't know, you can use this stuff called Viswax to quick teleport to Lodestones, but each Lodestone also has its own Magic level requirement. I'm currently 86 Magic, and the only Lodestone I can't quick teleport to is the Elf City place, which requires 90 Magic, so I'm going for that next. Technically, I've been I've been going for 90 magic. It just wasn't my main goal, which is why I was using magic to kill water fiends, even though they're weak to range. I really want to talk about uh, you know, magic slayer and triple charms this video, so I don't really have time to tell a real life story. I'll probably tell one next vlog because I don't think I'll be doing much training once this festival is over. So that doesn't leave me a lot to talk about, but. The last thing I want to talk about in this video are the quest guides. So if you missed the next vlog, or if you missed the last vlog, I said I was going to do Ritual of the Marjorat, but I still have to do three more quests, which are Cabin Fever, The Great Brain Robbery, and Rocking Out. I'm working on Cabin Fever right now. I am definitely going to get that out January 1st. Anyways, that's going to end this video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.